Right, guys, welcome back to the Martini channel. How, how you guys doing, man? How you guys doing? It's been a while. Um, today, we're going to be doing episode one of a new series that I'm going to be starting. It's called What the Football by Martini, of course. Um, it's the world's number one sports show. Please do not look that up. Basically, it's going to be a weekly show focusing mainly on football, okay, soccer. And we're, I'm just going to be letting you guys know what's going around the world. So without further ado... Let's get started. All right, the first segment of today's show is going to be the transfer news. We start off in the Spanish capital of Madrid. Fleti have offered Chelsea the chance to sign Joao Felix. Hey, man, if this happens, uh, yeah, Chelsea, what are we doing, man? We got 53 players. I think that's enough. Next, the boys are in town, baby. United have signed Matthias De Ligt. I think this is a good signing, man. You know, my, my club uh, is uh, bad as it is. But, hey, you got to look gotta look positive. I hope this this works out. You know, I think De Ligt's a good defender. I think he's going to make a, a big impact. Marouzi, you know, I, I think... Um, I haven't seen too much of him. It's a new start for both of them. New start for the team, new season. Expectations are high, of course. And yeah, let's see what they can do. Aaron Juan Bissaka leaves United and will be joining West Ham. Um, as a United fan, this one does hurt, definitely. Uh, this guy, he played very good for us. And then the couple couple last years, you know, just seemed like it wasn't working out. And Eric Ten Hag ultimately seems like Aaron Juan Bissaka is not in his plans. So he will be joining West Ham. And then another signing that probably is going to go under under noticed. Not a lot of people are going to be talking about. Gavin Nielsen from Porto. I think this is going to be a great signing. Underrated. Let's see how he does in Premier League. And then Ifwich Town, you know, starting off the year, looks like they're going to be trying out Calvin Phillips. Uh, it is a loan. It is not a transfer. And he will be moving from the Manchester City squad to Ipswich Town. Let's see how that goes. And we got a legend. Marcus Royce is coming to the U.S., baby. He will be joining LA Galaxy. Great signing for MLS club. You know, I like to see his other clubs get involved. So good for LA Galaxy. Let's see how Royce does that. And hopefully, hey, I can go catch a game because I'm trying to see this man. Then we got Julian Alvarez is leaving Manchester City permanently to join Atletico Madrid. Hey, man, looks like uh, it didn't work out for Julian Alvarez and City after two years. Moving on to the next match, on Wednesday we had Real Madrid taking on Atalanta with a 2-0 win over Atalanta coming from Valverde and of course killing Mbappe. You know, as a Madrid fan, man, that this was just beautiful to see. Um, I do believe that the scoreline doesn't tell the full story. Atalanta, they played a very strong game. Usually I'm not too hard on when teams play their first two. I would say I give them two matches and then you kind of start getting into the rhythm. It's always hard from coming from not playing and then going straight back to it. Or the players who, you know, obviously the Euros and the Copa America and they have to come back and it's a lot. Schedule's tough for these guys. But Madrid ultimately was the better team, and Atalanta, you know, respects to them. They played a good game, and uh, again, beautiful to see uh, the connection. Vinny, Rodrigo, and Mbappe, and Bellingham, and it was just so nice. Next, we got another Champions League qualifying match. Yeah, so we had Wisla Krokov taking off FC Spartak. I'm not even going to try. I, I'm sorry. If I butcher that, I'm so sorry. Then they played, um, you know, penalties. Um, guys, uh, yeah, so they played penalties. But they ended up with winning the match 12 to 11. I mean, this is ridiculous. The amount of penalties in this game and how long it lasted was incredible to see, man. Uh, but you know, shout out to shout out to to Whistla. You know, they they made it through. They they fought, man. That, that's all you can say. They 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 fought. Then on the same day in another Champions League qualifying match, the same thing happened. We had Ajax taking on Panentinos. And they played a match that as well got tied. Ajax ends up winning 13 to 12 on penalties. I mean, this was crazy. Shout out to the goalkeeper. No, he went crazy. And yeah, man, Ajax are through. And, you know, what a match. What a match. And then on Friday, we had a sleeper of a match. We had Coventry City taking on Oxford United in the championship. And this game was, was off to a great start. Both teams played really good. And it seemed like Oxford was going to win. But then the American hero in the in, in stoppage time, how do you write? Oh man, this guy. I, I really think this is one of the better uh, US strikers. I truly believe that. How do you write, man? I think this is really a breakout season for him. I can see him going to a Premier League club either at the December transfer window or at least next summer. But I don't think he stays at Coventry much longer. He's a great player, great ability, and this was a great game to see. And then again, on Friday, we had Manchester United starting off the Premier League against Fulham. 
Uh, you know, this game was a little bit back and forth. Uh, I do believe that during this game, you know, I think United, um, they were very unlucky on when they were finishing. They had the ball a lot and, you know, had a lot of uh, attacking press-ins. And, um, you know, then Fulham, after starting the, fifth, the first 15 minutes, you know, I don't think they, they started off pretty well. And then they, it looked like they could score. But, you know, at, at the end, you know, it was a good back and forth game. I do believe that. And, you know, United, they worked great. And as a United fan, I, I hope I see a lot more of this. Um, it was great. It was great to see. Then moving on to Germany, we had Bayer Leverkusen taking on Stuttgart in the Super Cup. And again, man, Leverkusen starting off where they left off. Obviously, excluding the Atalanta game. But, you know, they start off the year with another win. This time, they did take the game to penalties. And they scored late again. Of course, you know, that's prime Leverkusen. That's how it happens. Truly believe. If not, just because, you know, Bayern Munich have Vincent Company at manager. And, you know, he's inexperienced. And, a lot, and Dortmund's always there. But I think that Leverkusen have a really good chance of going back to back in the Bundesliga. If not, for sure, they will be in the Champions League next season. I truly believe that. Moving on to the Serie A, we had Milano take on Torino in a 2-2 match. But, you know, the score doesn't always tell the story. I always say this. Torino was up 2-0 at the 68th minute. And then Morata came out of nowhere, scored a late goal in the 89th minute. Uh, you know, people started fighting and, and Torino didn't want to give the ball out. They were kind of scared. And then, obviously, Noah Oko scored in stoppage time. Milan ended up saving, you know, a point. Uh, what it looked like they were going to, you know, start off the year with the loss. They ended up saving a point. So, that it was a really good match. Very exciting. You know, sad for Torino fans. You know, they had the game in their hands. And then, moving on back to the Premier League, we had Arsenal take on Wolves in a 2-0 win. This game... Arsenal started off the season, you know, with the win, and it seems like they're going to look strong again. Looks like they're going to rival Manchester City again. But, you know, a lot of people aren't going to be talking about this game because of the game. We're going to be talking about this, man. What the hell happened? Okay, I, I don't know if I can get demonetized, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm going to show the pictures on screen, as you see. I, I'm going to talk about the bottom one. I, I'm not going to touch on the first one, but the bottom one. This man just absolutely choked Havertz. By the way, it, it was like, I saw that. I'm like, what is going on? Like, dude, he's on the floor. And then he, look, look at this screenshot. What the hell is going on? What are we doing? And the top one, I'm not going to say anything. But, bro, live television live television all these little kids watching i'm like what the hell is going on so yeah arsenal wolves thank you man and then we had the game of the weekend i believe everyone was waiting to see we had manchester city take on chelsea in a two nil win for manchester city goals coming from erling Haaland and mateo kovacic now in this game First of all, Mateo Kovacic, before we even touch on anything, had a beautiful strike. Oh, dude, that, oh my God, that goal was amazing. Like, oh, he just hit it so perfectly. Then we had Todd Bowley after Kovacic's goal. He was like, you know what? I'm done. He's, you know, he's probably going to buy another player. And knowing this guy, I, I mark my words, guys, next week, episode two we're gonna i'm gonna be announcing another chelsea transfer this is ridiculous and then of course the talk of the game Bukurea and everything he said uh you know we had for the game he said you know erling holland said he's a funny man last season he asked for my shirt and this summer he sings a song about me and then of course i mean this is the picture of the game um yeah uh Kukurea, i don't think going for Holland was a good idea and then on Sunday as well we had my team uh, Real Madrid take on Mallorca in a game that ended 1-1 from goals from Rodrigo and Marquinhos. Um, this match you know I think they started off slow uh, I, I didn't see too much I didn't see the finishing and obviously there's a picture of Bellingham telling Rodrigo and Vinny and talking to Mbappe about the finishing and yeah, man, this was uh, not the best performance from Real Madrid. We we managed to get away with the point, but you know, obviously, it still does hurt. Uh, Mallorca. I mean, um, there's. Uh, I'll show the picture right now on the screen. You see this? This is what Mbappe has to deal with. Like, I, I don't think he was ready because you know, as a Madrid fan, I watch the La Liga every single week, and this is what happens. I mean, eleven in the back, baby. Let's park the bus and get the damn thing done. 
Now, moving on to the segment where we take a look at a random country, we spin a wheel, and then we look at a random game from that league. Here we go, guys. Okay. Barbados. I, do they even have a league? I don't know if they... Hold on. Do they have a league? Looks like they do have a league. Uh, it's called the Barbados Premier League. It says here that uh, there's 10 teams and they compete in CONCACAF. I knew they were in CONCACAF. I knew that. Um, I think for this one, let's go with... Uh, I like Britain Hills United. I like that name, so we're going to go with that one. Okay, guys, so uh, I've been searching for about a couple days now, and I, I can't seem to find anything very recently. I don't know if they stopped playing or if they're on break. I don't know what's going on, but the last game that I saw Britain's Hill play is a 5-5 draw against Kickstart Rush. Um, it's kind of messed up, you know, that they don't have the name of the players. It just says the team. There's no history. There's nothing. Um, you can make a bet, though. I don't know if anyone wants to make a bet on, on Britain's Hill. There you go. Yeah, uh, I guess shout out to Br Britain's Hill. You know, they last match was 5-5. Wonder what happened there. I'm sorry I couldn't find any highlights or anything, but this is all I got, I got to work with. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's WTF, which, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, the WTF does stand for the acronym of the show what the football i'm not just saying what the you know what like that's that's not what we're doing here yeah thank you guys for watching uh, i'm gonna try to keep this a weekly thing uh you know stay tuned i think i'm aiming for posting either on tuesdays and wednesdays obviously i know this one's probably gonna go up late i still don't know how i'm gonna record everything and i'm still trying to put in together some things but hopefully you guys do watch this video and it makes it out appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you in the next one